four decades in a huge desert crater nicknamed the Gateway to Hell. The desert is often taken for granted as a dead zone where nothing remarkable happens. Yet, some of the world's most spectacular natural phenomena and artificial features can be found in deserts. In this video, we discuss a 2,000-year-old treasure map, a North African jewel that is currently being swallowed by a desert, and the secrets of an immortal desert plant. This desert discovery will give you the chills. Number 15. Gates of Hell, Darvaza, Turkmenistan. Somewhere in the wastes of Turkmenistan's Karakum Desert is a pit of blazing fire reminiscent of the fires of Tolkien's Mount Doom. This 230 feet wide burning crater has come to be dubbed the Gates of Hell. The origin of this weird desert feature is shrouded in mystery. It is widely believed to have been formed when a Soviet oil drilling mission in the area resulted in the accidental opening of a natural gas reserve. The engineers then set fire to the site to burn off the harmful gas escaping from it. They believed the gas would burn out in a matter of weeks, but the inferno is still blazing away over 50 years afterward. Unsurprisingly, some sources have doubts about some details of this account, but it is impossible to verify as the Soviet authorities of the era put a tight lid on information surrounding such strategic operations. Turkmenistan's Gates of Hell has attracted thousands of tourists annually for years. In 2013, Canadian adventurer George Karunis actually got into the crater and descended to its lowest depths, the first man on record to ever do so. Number 14. Karakoto. Rising from the sands of the Inner Mongolian Desert are the ruins of a legendary medieval fortress, the city of Karakoto. The city first appeared in history in 1032 AD, when it emerged as a cultural and economic hub under the control of the Western Jia Empire. Karakoto would later fall to Genghis Khan and his Mongols in 1226 AD. Under Mongol rule, the city grew in prosperity and strength. In his travelogue, the Italian adventurer Marco Polo referred to Karakoto and noted its agricultural wealth. The city's prosperity was cut short after the Chinese sacked the city in 1372 AD. The Mongol ruler of the time is said to have killed his family before dying by suicide. Karakoto's ruins would be slowly swallowed up by the desert sands and remain unknown for over five centuries until it was rediscovered in 1907. Subsequent exploration missions have yielded thousands of manuscripts and books, revealing the city's identity as a scholarly center. Explorers have also dug up several items used in daily life from the site. Number 13. Train Cemetery in Desert Bolivia. Tourists to Salar de Uyuni, the world's largest salt flat in Bolivia, also visit a location known by locals as Cemetario de Trene, or the Train Graveyard. About 100 train cars lie scattered around in the open plain located outside the city of Uyuni. These trains had been imported, mostly from Britain, to convey cargoes of natural resources from the Bolivian capital of La Paz to the coast for exportation. However, as mining grew less popular and in the face of regional and international tensions, the trains were abandoned and the cemetario was born. Visitors to the site are allowed to climb on and even enter the trains. All materials of value in them have long been stripped off and looted, as the site is not secured by walls or guards. The train cars are not in the best condition, having suffered a constant bombardment of salt from the nearby salt flat for decades. Rusty hulks are all that now remain of what could have been one of the most impressive collections of trains in the region. Number 12. Welwitchia of Namibia. Experts speculate that the world's population will hit the 10 billion mark by the year 2100. The current rate of rapid urbanization and deforestation means that the areas of land available for agriculture decrease annually. While there are many suggestions and grand plans aimed at solving this problem, the solution may lie in a simple plant native to the arid Kyokovel desert of Namibia. Well, Wichia mirabilis plants usually feature a short stem and two long leaves. These plants can survive in the most extreme environments for several millennia. For years following its discovery by Friedrich Velvich, scientists were puzzled by the plant's features. However, modern genetic studies have revealed that the plant has certain proteins that it overproduces in times of heightened environmental stress to enable it to thrive even in the arid Namibian deserts and other extreme environments. 
Furthermore, the plant has duplicate versions of all its genes, which greatly enhances its survival capabilities. Scientists hope to learn from the Wellwichia plant's unique features to help improve plant yield in the face of climate change and other modern challenges to food sufficiency. 11. Moynok Ship Graveyard In the city of Moynok in the Aralkum Desert of Uzbekistan is a particularly astonishing sight, a shipyard filled with abandoned boats and ships. Moynok was not always a desert town. Around 60 years ago, the city was a bustling port town from which ships sailed the Aral Sea, one of the world's four largest lakes at the time. A fishing-based economy also thrived in Moynak. However, things began to change when in the 1960s, Soviet authorities decided to make Uzbekistan a global cotton production giant. To achieve this, they decided to channel the rivers that fed the Aral Sea away to irrigate several cotton fields. The effect was that the sea received progressively lower amounts of water until the supply dried up completely. The Aral Sea shrank rapidly away from ports such as Moynak. Today, only around 10% of its water volume remains. Some believe the Aral Sea can be revived if the supplying rivers are rechanneled to it. However, this is unlikely to happen as the logistical demands of such a project may be beyond the capacity of the Uzbek authorities. In any case, the country may be unwilling to give up its cotton industry, which is important for its economy. Today, the abandoned ships of Aralkum are an enduring testament to the need to consider the environment's conservation in economic development projects. 10. Eerie Fairy Circles of the Namib Desert People traveling through the Namib Desert are often surprised to notice an uncountable number of small circles seemingly etched into the sand, with patchy grass growing from their edges. Called fairy circles, these circles can be found in only two places on Earth, the Namib Desert and Australia's Western Desert. Adding to the mystery is the fact that these circles are spaced out evenly as if carefully laid out by an architect or artist. There is no shortage of interesting, if fanciful, explanations for this phenomenon. The local people have several beliefs about the fairy rings, one of which is that they are God's footsteps on the desert sands. Several other sources have credited fairies, unknown subterranean animals, and extraterrestrial beings with making the rings. But a less far-fetched explanation is that the actions of different groups of termites competing for territory may have created the strange circles. The mystery of the Namib Desert's weird circles is yet to be solved. However, that has not stopped tourists from flocking to the area in droves to enjoy the desert's mystical allure. 9. Strange Purple Spheres When thousands of small purplish balls suddenly appear in the desert, you know something is amiss. A couple walking in Arizona's desert was stunned to discover a mass of glittering tiny balls on the desert floor. Some scientists speculate that some fungal growth may be responsible for these ominous spheres. Some have suggested that it could be an artificial product for hydrating plants. On the surface, this latter theory seems quite plausible as such products actually exist, some of them with similar appearances to the mysterious balls. However, this theory falls apart in the face of the fact that the desert is not exactly the most popular site for agriculture. Till today, neither reporters nor scientists nor curious locals have been able to come up with an explanation for this weird phenomenon. Could someone have made and dumped them out there as a prank or hoax? Is it part of an ongoing classified government project? For now, the origin and nature of the Arizona desert's purple spheres remain shrouded in mystery. 8. Chilling Giant Alien Hand All over the world, there are numerous reports of alien and UFO sightings and contacts. These are often brushed aside as the products of over-imaginative minds or mass hysteria. However, it is a bit more difficult to write off such accounts when they are backed up by concrete material evidence. And this is exactly what a group of UFO hunters claim to have discovered in the Peruvian desert. The find is a large, bony, three-fingered hand that appears to have been mummified and preserved either artificially or by the natural aridity of the desert. The discoverers believe that this is part of the remains of an extraterrestrial being or a humanoid creature of an unknown type. However, the manner in which the post-discovery research on the hand has been conducted has been far from transparent. 
So far, the hand's discoverers have refused to divulge exactly where their big find was made, instead only saying they found it in a subterranean cave. Also, the group claims to have submitted the object to experts who concluded that it was certainly no human hand. However, these experts remain unnamed, although it remains to be seen whether this hand will be open to scrutiny by recognized scholars. It certainly sends chills down one's spine to think that beings with such giant hands could have once roamed our world. 7. Dead Sea Scrolls Treasure Map In 1952, an Arab shepherd found some pottery jars in a cave in Wadi Qumran near the Dead Sea. The jars were later known to hold the Dead Sea Scrolls, a fascinating collection of manuscripts that contained Jewish religious literature, political writings, and clues to a hoard of gold worth billions of dollars. The scrolls are believed to have been written by the Essenes. This Jewish religious group lived in the Judean desert 2,000 years ago, leading communal lifestyles in a monk-like ascetic fashion. The group disappeared after the Roman invasion of Israel that culminated in the sack of Jerusalem in 70 AD. One of the scrolls they left behind is made of copper and contains 64 clues to a large treasure trove. The origin of the said treasure is a subject of much debate. While some assert that it may have been taken from the Second Temple, others speculate that the Essenic community may have accumulated it from trading and internal taxation. However, these theories are not substantiated by primary accounts from the period. This has led some to think that the treasure map could be no more than a work of fiction, probably composed by a bored monk in his spare time. 6. Lost Libraries of the Chinguetti Standing in the Mauritanian Sahara is Chinguetti, a city that was once one of the most prosperous in the region, but is now largely abandoned and slowly sinking into the desert. Chinguetti emerged to serve the needs of traders in the heyday of the trans-Saharan trade. Merchants from far and near stopped at the city to rest and take on provisions before setting out on their journey across the Sahara. With time, it acquired a scholarly reputation as several Muslim poets. Theologians and scholars thronged the city on their way to pilgrimage in Mecca. Several libraries sprang up and began accumulating an impressive collection of books on various topics. Some of these libraries have survived till today with thousands of manuscripts, some of which date back to the 9th century, including a few of the world's oldest extant Quranic writings. While Chinguetti has sadly not received as much attention as it deserves from international bodies and tourists, UNESCO has named it a World Heritage Site. However, the beauty of Chinguetti may not always be there for future generations to enjoy. It is believed that without intervention, this old city of scholars may be gradually swallowed up by the sands of the Sahara in about a century to come. 5. Mysterious Chinese Desert Patterns Google Maps Street View has made it possible for people to explore even the remotest parts of the world from the comfort of their couches. And once in a while, Google Maps explorers make truly remarkable discoveries. An example of this was in 2011 when they found a weird patch of what appears to be patterns drawn in white on the floor of the Gobi Desert in China. Pictures of this odd sight soon went viral, with experts and lay enthusiasts alike analyzing the evidence and putting forth their theories to explain it. Experts believe that the mysterious pattern is a calibration target used to help Chinese satellites in space to adjust their positions. The United States and other space powers use these targets for the same purpose. The white lines that zigzag across it are believed to be made by paint. However, this weird satellite guidance system is not the only thing out of the ordinary in its vicinity. There are objects believed to be military planes and several other equipment placed about the otherwise empty desert. This has led observers to believe that the area may be a secret Chinese military. If true, intending tourists will be well advised to keep off. 4. Ancient Royal Boat Found in a Commoner's Grave Czech archaeologists exploring an ancient Egyptian cemetery were stunned to discover a 60-foot-long ship in one of the tombs. The Egyptians believed that their dead kings sailed to the afterlife, so it isn't weird to find ships in royal tombs. But this was no royal tomb. It was a commoner's grave. Remarkably, the ship's timber is preserved almost perfectly by the dry, desert sands. Experts see the ship as an opportunity to gain a deeper insight into the shipbuilding techniques and methods of ancient Egypt.
The discovered ship is over 4,500 years old and was made of expensive wood believed to have been imported from Lebanon. This is further proof that the ship's occupant was a person of high social class. However, his name has not survived, and all we can do is speculate on who he was and why he was buried among commoners. 3. Graveyard of Sea Creatures A desert is probably the last place you would expect to find fossils of marine creatures. However, the Atacama Desert in Chile, the world's driest desert, is host to a huge cache of a wide variety of sea creatures. Cherubalena, or Whale Hill, where these remains are found was discovered while a road was being built through the desert in 2010. The site features the bones of dolphins and many other fish species. Interestingly, some aquatic species that are now extinct were also found there. Why did so many fish die, and how were they transported to the middle of the desert? At first, it was thought to be the site of a whale beaching or stranding, a phenomenon that sees large numbers of whales washed ashore on beaches, many of them dying on the shores. However, experts now believe that these marine creatures died at about the same time, killed by natural factors such as toxins. Their remains were then washed onto the present site at Cerro Ballena, formerly an ocean shoreline. Climatic changes over the following millennia pushed the ocean far away from the spot, while the area slowly became the arid wasteland it now is. 2. Mysterious Geoglyphs of Jordan You cannot see it from the ground, but if you fly over Jordan's Wadi Wasad and other areas in an airplane, you will be faced with a weird but splendid sight. Several large patterns with wheel-like shapes are drawn on the floor in the desert plains. An RAF officer flying over Jordan in the late 1920s first made the discovery, and since then, several archaeologists have extensively studied the patterns. Interestingly, experts believe that some parts of the geoglyphs date back to 8,500 years ago, making them older than the more popular Nazca lines of Peru by about six millennia. However, a lot is still unknown about these patterns. For one, nothing is known about the people who made them. Locals refer to the geoglyphs as the works of the old men, but have no idea who these old men were. It is also unknown why they chose the shapes they drew or why the geoglyphs were even made. Some observers have noted that it may have been linked to burial rites. It has been asserted that some of the designs used in the geoglyphs prove that the makers had quite considerable knowledge of astronomy. At least one of the geoglyphs aligns with the direction from which the sun arises on winter solstice. 1. Mysterious Atacama Mummy In 2003, Chile's Atacama Desert yielded one of the most intriguing finds of unidentified creatures, a six-inch mummified humanoid figure. It had extraordinarily large eyes and a long, pointed skull. While some believed the figure to be a hoax, others thought it could be evidence of extraterrestrial incursions on Earth. However, scientific examinations of samples drawn from the creature's bone marrow showed that neither speculation was true. The mummy was real and was once a real person, a Chilean girl named Atta. The elongated head and other malformations are believed to have been caused by genetic disorders which Atta had. These genetic issues also gave her bones a more hardened feel, making observers think she was much older than she actually was. Although Ada only died under 50 years ago, little is known about her family or identity. However, Otta's disorder may not have been entirely from natural causes. She was found in a town known for nitrate mining. It is feared that Otta may have been exposed to nitrate poisoning while still in the womb. By studying how Otta's genes made her bones age rapidly, Researchers hope to develop medicines that help people with bone fractures gain rapid recovery, which is a silver lining in this sad tale. Thanks for watching today's episode. Be sure to click the link on your screen for more amazing videos.